Welcome everybody, I'm Eric, I'm the Community Manager of WWE Champions, together with uh, Jeff, uh, a character designer for WWE Champions. Same game. Uh, Jeff's going to actually walk us through uh, some of the new characters he's designing. You've already seen some of them on the announced the game, we've been playing with KO, uh, Zombie, and then we have a new character coming out, uh, AJ Styles Zombie, uh, the possessed one, um, and a few others. We've teased... Uh, we teased a third, and there's a fourth that we, uh, we'll, we hope that everybody will be surprised at the end. Um, but today we're going to focus on AJ Styles only, kind of just going to walk us through you know, the background, you know, the preferred move sets, kind of what works, what's exciting about this character, a little bit about the background of these uh, new characters that we're releasing, and uh, you know, why you might want one, and uh, some of the trainers that you might establish. And, uh, who they're good against and that sort of thing. So, um, so welcome. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, tell us a little bit about the zombies first, and then you can walk into talking about uh, AJ specifically. So kind of what was your goal with you know designing these zombies? What were what was like the vision that you had? Yeah. So zombies were really fun to work on because um, they sort of exist in the same meta as every other superstar, and there are certain moves that are very similar to other existing superstars, and you'll find that with the zombies that are, that are already out, um, along with the ones that are out soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also wanted to make something that was sort of unique to those um, superstars, and so, and something that was sort of a common theme throughout all of those was the kick-out move. Right. Um, and so that one, we, we branded it uh, Back from the Dead, you know, you, you try to pin them, they keep coming back. Mm -hmm. um, these kick-out moves, each of the zombies has one of those moves. But they, they do different things. They're subtly different. Um, for example, um, AJ Styles, who we'll see in just a little bit here, um, he mm -hmm. actually changes um, gems into purple gems, which will which will feed one of his uh, other moves, specifically his choose move. So there was the kickout move that kind of went through all of the, the all all the zombies we're working on. Uh, there's also like bleed type moves that you damage over time, mm -hmm. um, and there is at least one uh, zombie that does a lot of steal health that will actually uh, take health from your opponent and uh, recharge your own health, so it'll be useful in a lot of different game modes um, to keep you from having to use too many health packs um, and maybe keep you uh, playing the game and not having to, um, to keep going back and forth. Yeah, it will also be really helpful in other modes where you, know, you don't have that option. Right. Definitely very helpful in, in Blitz because if you can use the steel health uh, well and efficiently, you'll be back in a position to start the next match with hopefully full health, depending, depending on how the previous match goes. Yeah, so let's walk, uh, walk me through this. So we cool. have AJ style zombie here. Yeah, so uh, AJ is a showboat. Um, and he has, let's go to his moves really quickly. Uh, this is not his default moveset, this is the moveset that I really enjoy uh, mm -hmm. using. His finisher, which I'm actually not using in this um, particular set, um, is based on Protect Gems. And he has another Protect Gem, Generate Protect Gem move. So if you want to go that more kind of traditional route, then you can. Mm -hmm. um, the, the move set that I really like using, the one that I kind of um, envisioned when I was uh, creating AJ, was this two purple and one yellow move. The yellow move is the kick out, and he has one uh, choose move that's very powerful. And these moves kind of feed each other. So the kickout move, for example, charges 6 MP. Um, once it's done, if you get pinned, you can fire that off, get out of the pin. It'll change black gems into purple gems, which hopefully will match and will cause a cascade, which will then feed your, your purple gems. And then one really cool thing yeah. about that too is that in the move it's specified, you know, that uh, you're not doing any damage to the opponent um, when you kick out of it. When you kick out of the, uh, the pin, Generate those purple gems. You're not damaging your opponent, but you're generating purple gems, which can load up your other purple moves. Yeah. Um, but the thing that's really special about that is, say you get you know, two or three of those matches and you're already you know maxed out, then uh, it doesn't actually pin the opponent. So the slider will go all the way to the right, but you'll have one more chance to deal some damage. So, for example, you could use that choose move and you know just totally wreck your opponent, especially if it's like at the point where. You know, you guys are climbing back and forth and you get out of the pin and you just need that little bit more to, you know, last 20, 30, 40, or sometimes even 50,000 damage um, to um, 40, 50,000 damage, um, you can just finish them off. Right. And I mean, we'll, we'll get into that, but uh, what trainers are you using in this case? 
So with this combo, uh, the trainer set that I really like is Enzo and Dolph Ziggler. Um, Enzo because it allows you to charge up the kickout move right off the bat. Mm -hmm. um, I could definitely see an argument for Xavier Woods to charge the two purple moves, but just for me, I like Enzo in this build because it makes sure that by turn two you have your kickout move charged, so that if you get pinned on a big you know, choose move on turn two or something like that, you're able to kick out um, immediately and yeah. hopefully start your own combo uh, right, right away. Yeah. Um, if you do Xavier, you're a little bit more um, prone to the variability of the of the gem board and how it starts. Yeah. So I mean, but it could it could also be argued the other way. So you could also like, have a higher chance of getting that choose move, which would generate the pin. Um, it's just one of those strategic decisions that you have to make before going into a match. Like. So let's go ahead and take uh, AJ, the possessed one, against one of the best characters in the game, um, Seth Rollins, undisputed future. Um, Seth is known for big time choose moves heavy damage, mm -hmm. um, especially with the right trainers and the right move set. Um, and what AJ can do is really counter those really heavy damage moves with his kick out move. He yeah. starts the combo and then reverses it and hopefully a pin uh, your opponent. Yeah, and this is really where like Enzo comes in handy too, because what you want to do is you want to have a really high chance of your uh, your uh, kick out move being charged really early on because he only needs a match to get those blue met moves together, um, so you really have to be careful. So you not get that yellow, get, get that yellow match and steal those blues. Right here. Yeah. Um, but the thing is with, with him is, you know, Seth Rollins can put you in a really massive, uh, really massive damage pin, and so you'll be able to get that out and then automatically generate those purple gems that you need, and he's not going to be able to use those. So it's really great against him in this right. case. Um, and uh, then you can go back on the offensive. Yep. We'll see if this actually pings us. It did. So this is something that costs 42,000 damage. Um, and it, at this point, we could try to clear out some of um, the gems that might be helpful to Seth. But right now, I'm just going to go straight into the um, kick out move. There's a lot of black gems on the board that those are the gems that are going to change into purple and hopefully help us um, to finish charging up our, uh, our other moves. So there we go. So we got um, both of them charged with that kick-out move. So one thing to one thing to mention there too is that if you, for, for example, if you've gotten that wild card and pin, uh, yeah, I mean you've gotten that side all the way to the right. If one of the pin uh, set problems, right? It would have just given you all the charge. One of them dealt any damage, uh, but you would have been able to do one more move. In this case, you're too good, and it's a great use for. So you're going to be able to do a lot of damage with them. Yeah, right here. So, and I want to try to keep as many of the purple gems on the board. I'm already going to, to I'm already going to break a lot of the uh, yellow gems mm -hmm. um, just by choosing them. I'm going to get rid of some of his blue gems and hopefully keep enough purple gems on here that it will. There we nice. go. Another Perfect. another break. Expert. Expert move. Expert right. gem matching. That's right. Right there. So let's see if we even need it. Ah, don't even it don't even need it. That was that was. Very impressive. So that can kind of show the, the power of that reversal because he pinned us for you know, 42,000 damage, I think it was, if I'm remembering right. And you're able to kick out of that very quickly. Yeah, and your kick's up, kick out's already charged again, too, for right. using that choose move, which is amazing. So I love, I love the design of this character because you, know, you get that immediate assurance, uh, or almost immediate assurance, that you know, if you're getting that first yellow gem match at the beginning, that you can kick out of those those pins that a lot of these top guys like Seth Rollins and, um, and Finn Balor, you know, they'll put you in some you know, 40, 50,000 damage. And Showboats traditionally have, uh, you know, challenging time getting out of high pins like that, but just having that there and feeding your two purple moves is yeah. really good. It is a little, a little risky using those, uh, that second one with generating right. the purple gems, but Oftentimes, when you get out of the pin, you've got enough on the side to be able to. And especially use it if you have twice, both, yeah, if you have both the purple gems, gem moves uh, charged up, mm -hmm. you can use that one, change them into blue, and not worry about it too much because you can use your choose move after that and either clear them out or cause a cascade of those to clear them out that way. So it's uh, that's the really fun part, and they kind of feed each other. And if you get into that chain, if you're able to charge those up, um, you can really cause a lot of damage and defend well against really heavy damage. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. cool. Um, anything you can kind of tease a little bit about the uh, 
next zombie that we have coming up? Uh, yeah, so next zombie that's coming up is going to be a trickster. Um, and it is uh, Brock Lesnar. I think yes. everyone is uh, aware of that maybe at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and Brock is going to keep, even though he's a trickster, he's going to keep some of his, uh, some elements from his old version. So pre turn. That's right, pre turn. Um, so, you know, Brock, if you remember, generates a lot of blast gems mm -hmm. and uh, can take advantage of those to cause massive damage to his opponent. Um, it's going to be a kind of a twist on that, but it's going to be potentially involving some trap gems, um, something like that. Generates a lot of blast gems and can cause an enormous amount of damage to your opponent. It's really cool. I, I've played around with him a little bit um, on the test builds and. Uh, he seems, uh, I mean, it's perfect that he's a trickster too, because it's just really wild and just, just wacky. It's and a very fast charging, charging, fast charging uh, trap move that can really blow up the board pretty quickly. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for joining us. Cool. Thanks a lot.